village was once known as the Pearl of the Island before the war. Evolving from a small fishing village to the agricultural and commercial hub for ships in the mid-1800s, it became an economically rich village by the 1930s. That all changed come World War II. One of the last remnants of the village is the Sumai Cemetery, where dozens of former residents gathered to pay respect during the Sumai Memorial Mass July 20. The Santa Rita Mayor's Office and NBG coordinated the event, which was part of the island's Liberation Day festivities. It means a lot to me, but even better, it means a lot to the people that has been wanting to get access to visit their loved ones during liberation. Captain Jeffrey Grimes, commanding officer of U.S. Naval Base Guam, said he was glad to be able to partner with the Santa Rita Mayor and coordinate such events for the former residents of Sumai. It gives me the opportunity to reflect back on the sacrifices that were here, the great community relationship we have, the sensitivity to, our, to the culture and to the natural resources that the Department of Defense brings to, to the island. But the most important thing is several uh, just great people in the community that I've had the honor and pleasure uh, to, to meet. As in past years, volunteers from Coastal Riverine Group 1 helped spruce up the cemetery prior to the Mass and were in attendance to offer their support during the event. It's amazing to come out and help uh, to meet all the people, the, all the survivors still, uh, that can tell all the stories of what it was like. Uh, it is a, a great experience and uh, really an honor to, to be here to help out. Reporting for U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Teresa Murto Cepeda.